One December, a few years ago, I looked back at my life and saw all things I had tried, the mistakes I made, my failures and successes, and I concluded that a single year is worth 10 years of most people. Till today, I still have such a feeling, but maybe it's purely the case of self-praise, but I think I'm very productive and seem to know how to achieve in one year what most people will achieve in 5 to 10 years. You think about this, salespeople are some of the most disciplined people in the world. Yet, according to some studies, an average salesman spends only 90 minutes per day on what is essential. I do not doubt that most people in the world are not productive. And if you pay close attention to some simple tips I'll share with you in this video, you can achieve in one year what most people will achieve in 5 to 10 years. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Focus on days, not year. Like everybody, I set goals for every year. But unlike most people, I don't think those yearly goals mean anything. Instead, I focus on my daily goals. Here's the thing. Most people forget their yearly goals and New Year resolutions before the end of January. The reason is that 12 months is such a long time for anybody to remain motivated. Since you need to hold yourself accountable to be able to achieve anything worthwhile, focusing on days instead of years is the best way to achieve your goals faster. I set goals for the week every Sunday and every day I make a simple list of 3 to 5 important things I want to accomplish in the day. This way. It's easier to make yourself do what you ought to do than if focused on the next 12 months. Number 2. Give the important things just a few hours. Ask yourself this simple question. What are the three essential things that can drastically change the results you are getting in your life? My answer to that question includes writing and reading. So I spare certain hours of my day for such tasks. And this is how it goes. Let's assume you understand the importance of reading and studying every day in your field and the long-term impact it could have on your success. But you are like most of us, lazy and hate reading. What you'll do is to tell yourself, all I have to do is to spend 30 minutes reading and I can get back to my Netflix. Using this method, I write at least 3 days per week and read almost every day. All I have to do is to tell myself, silly guy, you just have to read for an hour, then you can go back to consume all your silly cat videos on YouTube. If you spare 30 minutes of an hour every day to do something you hate doing, you will end up achieving far more success in your life than most people because most people only do something they are convenient with. Number 3. Collaborate, partner, work with people. Back then, when I was in secondary school, my economics teacher taught us the division of labor. That was the first economic principle I liked. The reason is that it made a whole lot of sense to me that people could achieve more if they seek help. Starting out in the business world, I knew I was never going to go alone. I am always eager to work with people, partner with smart guys or hire them. As a result, I was able to achieve in a few years what most people would not be able to accomplish in their entire life. Today, as I write the script for this video, one of my biggest goals in the next 12 months is to expand my network and double the numbers of the staff in my company. I think it's a simple thing, but most people don't get it. You can't go far in life except you work with other people. The Bible teaches that though one man can defeat a thousand, two men will defeat ten thousand. How does that make sense? If one man defeats one thousand, shouldn't we expect two men will defeat two thousand? When two or three people come together, the synergy multiplies their efforts in multiple folds. Number 4. Take care of your morning. A few weeks ago, I was reading a book written by Olusha Gobasanjo who was a general and a former president of my country, Nigeria. In the book, Obasanjo talked about what he learned from another general in terms of productivity, and that is, any man who doesn't finish half of his day's duty by 10 a.m. has wasted the day. 
What this means is that the hours in our days aren't the same. 6 a.m. isn't the same as 6 p.m. Your productivity isn't going to remain the same all through the day. One single hour in the morning is worth more than three hours in the evening. So what does this tell us? Take care of your morning. Do the most important things first and avoid any unproductive thing in the morning. As a matter of law, I try not to consume entertainment or social media in the morning. Most times, when I wake up, I already know what I want to achieve for the day, so I start with the most important task on my list. If you follow this simple strategy, you will achieve more in your single day than most people achieve in their week, because most people don't accomplish much. Number 5. Make friends with the people who know where they are going. Most people in the world want to succeed, but what exactly does that mean? Well, it means nothing. In life's journey, I've only met a few people who have a sense of direction, who know specifically where they are going. These are the best people to have as friends because if your closest friends don't have a sense of direction, they will influence you to be like them. People who have a sense of direction are usually ambitious, and being ambitious is contagious. When you hang around ambitious people who make sacrifices to get things done, you'll become just like them and start doing what you ought to do instead of doing what is convenient. This will help you to achieve in a few years what most people will not be able to achieve all their lives. As for me, life is all about productivity. We have to strive to get things done. We have to be focused on the essential things. We must guard our heart against the love of pleasure, entertainment, and useless gossips. While we all need some time to relax and have fun, we must guard against doing such in the morning. We have to consciously make friends with the people who are productive and focused so that we can be like them. And most importantly, we must hold ourselves accountable for each day and not a year. If this video makes sense to you, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. We love you.